And the fourth premise, any dominating desire, plan, or purpose which is backed by that state of mind known as faith is taken over by the subconscious section of the mind and acted upon immediately. That state of mind, ladies and gentlemen, is the only state of mind that will produce immediate action through the subconscious mind. And uh, when I say uh, faith, I don't have reference to wishing or hoping or mildly believing. I don't have reference to any of those things. I have reference to a state of mind wherein whatever it is that you're going to do, you can see it already in a finished act before you even begin it. Now, that's pretty positive, isn't it? I can truthfully tell you that not ever in my whole life have I undertaken to do anything that I didn't do it unless I got careless in my desire to do it and backed away from it or changed my mind or my mental attitude. I have never failed to do anything that I made up my mind to do. And I'll tell you that you can put yourself in a frame of mind where you can do whatever you make up your mind to do unless you weaken as you go along. As so many people do. Now, let's get back to this fourth premise again. Any dominating desire, plan, or purpose which is backed by that state of mind known as faith is taken over by the subconscious section of the mind and acted upon immediately. I don't know for sure, ladies and gentlemen, but I suspect that there's a relatively small number of people in the world at any one time who understand the principle of faith, who really understand it and know how to apply it. And even if you do understand it, if you don't back it up with action and make it a part of your uh, habit life, you might just as well not understand it, because faith without deeds is dead. Faith without action is dead. Faith without uh, absolute positive belief is dead. I don't know how you're going to get any results through believing unless you put some action back of that belief. And incidentally, if you tell your mind often enough that you have faith in anything, the time will come when your subconscious mind will accept that. Even if you tell your mind often enough that you have faith in yourself. Had you ever thought what a nice thing it would be if you had such complete faith in yourself that you wouldn't hesitate to undertake anything you wanted to do in life? Uh, had you ever thought what, that, what a benefit that would be to you? Do you know how many people there are that sell themselves short all the way through life because they don't have the right amount of confidence, let alone faith? Give a guess as to the percentage. Well, it's somewhere between 98 and 100. <laughs> the margin who do is so small that I wouldn't begin to guess just exactly what it is. But judging by the good many thousands of people that I've come into contact with, and I'll, you know it without my telling it that my audiences and my classes are always above average, judging by those people, I would say that... Uh, it's uh, well over 98% of the people who never in our whole lives develop a sufficient amount of confidence in themselves to go out and to undertake and to do the things they want to do in life. They accept from life whatever life hands them. Isn't it a strange thing how nature works? She gives you a set of tools. Everything that you need to attain all that you can use or aspire to have in this world. She gives you a set of tools adequate for your every need. And she rewards you bountifully for accepting and using those tools. That's all you have to do. Just accept them and use them. She penalizes you beyond compare if you don't accept them and use them. Nature hates vacuums and idleness. She wants everything to be in action. And especially does she want the human mind to be in action. The mind is not different from any other part of the body. If you don't use it, if you don't rely upon it, it atrophies and withers away and finally gets to where anybody can push you around. Anybody. And oftentimes you don't have the uh, willpower to even resist or protest when people push you around. 